We hear these claims again and again about the footage that came out of the 7th of October massacre is actually AI generated. Fortunately, you had to bring some pretty gruesome photos. And uh, I have to say, I hope those photos aren't real. And I have my doubts because recently you posted an AI generated image of a charred infant corpse. No, I didn't. And instead of just dismissing these claims, I want to stop for a minute and, and ask, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, okay, my nephew who was murdered on the 7th of October wasn't really my nephew, it was just an AI-generated nephew. And maybe, just maybe, Elchanan, my friend, who was murdered on October 7th while rescuing innocent civilians from their homes in Kibbutz Be'eri, wasn't really my friend, he was just an AI-generated friend. Maybe the 138 hostages that remained in Gaza are just AI hostages. Maybe I am AI-generated. Maybe we're all part of the Matrix. So all of you college and university students out there in the US might know how to use very sophisticated words, but I'm astonished by how dumb you really are. You seem very determined on not letting the facts confuse your point of view. You see, those terrorists broadcasted their horrors live on social media, but it doesn't matter, you still claim it's AI. If we will prove it's not an AI, you will claim that these are not Israeli babies, but Palestinian babies. And if we prove these are Israeli babies, you will claim that we did it ourselves. But don't worry, when reality explodes in your face, oh, and it will explode sooner than you think, then you'll understand exactly what Israel is going through. Meanwhile, I hope Israel doesn't spend too much energy explaining itself to you morons, because we have more important stuff to focus on. We have a world to save.